everyone, my name is Danny, and I'm a first year medical student at Hopkins. I wanted to hop on here and just give you guys the update. I know it's been a hot minute since I have filmed a video, but it's been a crazy few months. I have been moving to Baltimore, getting adjusted to medical school. I wanted to have a couple of weeks of experience before coming on here and giving you guys the reflection about what this transition has truly been like. So without further ado, let's just get right to it. So right now I am in the third, second, I think it's the second week of the anatomy course, which is roughly seven weeks long. And it's comprised of a couple of different formats of learning. We do our lectures mostly asynchronously. So the night before or the day before, I watch the lectures online, I take notes. There is an Anki deck that's pre-made for us, which is a blessing. But I use those kind of as a supplement as well as, you know, I make my own cards sometimes if there's some content that I'm missing and, you know, supplemental content from um, a website I'm gonna talk about later. It's been hard though, like I'm not gonna lie, getting used to this style of learning is difficult. They are throwing so much information at you at once. Every day is just dozens and dozens of new articles of information that you have to memorize. And this whole, you know, pure memorization thing is not my style. I like to logic my way through concepts and understand the why behind everything. I know it has to be done. It's part of the process. In seven weeks, we'll be done, which is the good news. But I will say, as far as my first thoughts, I'm definitely overwhelmed right now. And but the good news is that we're figuring it out. And the, the other good news is that everybody is in the same page. <laughs> so I'm, I, I don't think I'm mistaken when I say that none of us are PhDs in anatomy at this point. So we're all very lost together, <laughs> which is nice. Um, I really don't get any era of like, era. I don't really get any like air of competitiveness in our class, if that makes any sense. I'm very relieved to know that my classmates are truly here for me and we support each other and want each other to succeed. Our courses are pass fail, so it really takes that stress away from having to be compared against your classmates and scoring, you know, a certain percentage. You just have to pass and I think that really takes a huge load off my shoulders and I'm studying genuinely to understand the concepts and realizing that I'm not gonna know everything. That is something that is a really valuable lesson that I've had to learn the hard way, <laughs> but I'm glad I learned it very early on. You cannot possibly memorize everything in these lectures. <laughs> like, if you do, then I applaud you and you have some sort of genetic mutation where your brain has more space than the rest of us. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really getting used to this style of learning where I'm feeling comfortable with, with being unfamiliar with some things. So as far as my kind of like structure right now, we are doing cadaver lab, which we have body donors that we are dissecting every day. We do like a different part of the body and we kind of go more and more into detail as the days go on. We finished the thoracic cavity last week and now we're over to the abdomen area. I have a presentation next week. Every week, one student from each group, our groups are like six students, has to present the dissection and talk to the professor about what each organ does, all of the vessels, all of the nerves, and just kind of present your way through that cavity of the um, abdomen for me in my case. So I'm kind of nervous about that, but it's a really good way to force me to study even harder. So I think I'm gonna have a really good grasp of the material just in time for our first exam, which is not this Monday, but the following Monday. So in about a week, I'm gonna have my first medical school exam. Really stressed about it, but at the same time, it is pass fail, so I am very thankful for that. So aside from our anatomy lab time, which we have every single day, um, we also have team-based learning classes where we have different physicians coming in uh, to give lectures about different clinical cases that are relevant to what we're studying. Super, super interesting. I love all things actual like medicine clinical correlations because it puts a kind of context to what I'm learning 
which sometimes seems really removed from medicine when I'm memorizing every single nerve that branches out from the spinal cord that goes to the brain. Like all of that is, sorry, there's like noise in the background. All of that really takes the like medical aspect away from it. And I'm just like, wait, why do I need to know that the splanchnic nerve comes from here and goes to here and branches into this other vein? You know what I mean? So I feel like those team-based learning classes really give me that bigger picture zooming out clinical correlation that I need to stay in touch with what I'm learning in anatomy. Also have some imaging lessons where we have radiologists come in and give lectures on how we would image these parts of the body and how to read these images, you know, in brief terms. So it's a really interesting kind of multi-layered approach to this course that we have here at Hopkins. I really enjoy it. So as far as my studying goes, I'm still figuring it out. I actually have an appointment with a learning specialist tomorrow where I'm going to be going over with her my study strategies and hopefully getting a little bit more like evidence-based advice on how to most efficiently study such a difficult course. So right now I'm basically studying by going through the Anki cards that are designated for each lecture. It's really nice. They're all separated out into um, lecture by lecture because we have a common Anki deck that all of Hopkins students use. It's very, very useful. Not every medical school has this, so I feel really lucky that I have this really amazing material. I supplement that with some of my own cards if I feel like I need more detail, but it's a pretty comprehensive plan, to be honest with you. I go through those Anki cards, I watch the lectures, and I use a supplemental material from this website. It's called bootcamp.com. It's been really great, honestly, to have that as a resource because, again, I'm a very visual learner and those cards are not going to show me what I need to see about these concepts. So when I get a card wrong, I'll go into the bootcamp.com website and I'll look up that specific part of the body in the lessons. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly on my computer how I use this app. It's on my phone, on my iPad. I use it on the computer. So on the go, if I'm commuting to class or etc. So this is the bootcamp.com website. It's honestly really comprehensive. Um, we have head and neck, we have lower limbs. As you're going through these lessons, they have questions to check in. And so for example, this question, they're asking about the plane in red, and that is the mid sagittal plane. And I got it right, so I'm gonna say I mastered it. Um, and then you keep going with the lesson. And then we keep going with the lesson. Let's say I li like listen to this whole video. I'm going to say complete and continue. And then they have another question. Mm, I'm going to say it's pronation. Yay, I got it right. So I mastered this one. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically you get the point. Um, so let's say I got this one wrong. Um, and then I can say that I'm learning it and I can flag it in red. And then if I want to create a test... Um, I can either time it or not, and then I can do anatomy for now. We're going to skip step one for now. And I can go into all of these different subjects. Let's say I want to do just embryology and then the number of questions here, and then I can just start my test. And then for step one, you have all of the different concepts you need to know about and it's so comprehensive i mean i don't have to study for step one yet but it's going to be an amazing resource when i do um you can definitely see here they have a thousand plus mini videos and lessons where you can really get a good grasp of all of this content so overall my first week two weeks of school have been really crazy but super good i've met so many amazing people my friends that i have so far are just truly the most authentic genuine down-to-earth human beings i could ask for i don't know what i expected coming into medical school i just thought everybody was going to be like super like i don't know like maybe like competitive I don't, I, I I don't know what i expected but i did not expect people to be just so nice and so warm and inviting so i am very very grateful to have the people that i have here so far and um 
it's just been truly a blessing to be here. I feel so grateful to be at an institution like Hopkins and so fortunate to receive my medical education here. So I will be posting about once a week or so. I want to stay on top of this and show you guys my journey. I want to show you guys my apartment. I'm so proud of it and so happy about my space. It's really just been key in helping this transition be as smooth as possible. I'm kind of a homebody, so I've really made it a little sanctuary for me. I want to show you guys my friends. I also want to show you guys a day in my life. I want to take you through campus, a week in my life. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you want me to film for you and I will get that done absolutely I also have a TikTok page it's at Danny Medlife and I have a lot more little snippets of videos there where I take you guys through different things that I'm doing here in medical school so yeah overall I'm very very grateful it's been a great few weeks transitioning here thank you so much for following me on my journey and I will see you guys next week